Hello Pokemon Go trainers, we have the Pokemon Go World Championships and just, well, Pokemon World Championships in general with the VGC and TCG also happening this weekend, same time. Now we, this is a Go channel, but, and we have some, uh, some nice awards. So you are going to have to watch, tune into the Twitch live stream at twitch.tv slash Pokemon Go. If you do want to watch others, then you can, uh, you should be able to find them on Twitch with Pokemon, which is nice. I assume you can type Pokemon TCG or VG VGC to find them, but go. So we have some nice research and you're going to have to watch 30 minutes after connecting your Pokemon Trainer Club account to Twitch to claim your Twitch drop. You're going to find your code at rewards.pokemon.com and redeem it and the store.pokemongo.com live pokemongolive.com and uh, day one time research is going to be a Sableye that could be shiny uh, an elite charge gem you can tell that is a charge with the purple band on the left bar on the left side very nice that's exciting I'm, I'm, uh, I'm happy because uh, elite potassium would be very easy to just give out but charge fantastic and start as an XP and you're going to gain an additional candy XL for completing three star shadow raids uh, not bad that's nice you can also get additional time research by watching official code stream you can get some Pikachus, shiny Pikachus and more which is really nice it has been uh, nicknamed the scuba Chup, but also some others have called it the snork no snorkel Chup. I mean, it's snorkeling Pikachu. I'm going to call scuba Chup because I like how that sounds better. Just scuba Chup definitely, uh, definitely want that shiny. Now, day two, time research, you're going to have three options for teams. And there's some nice rare Pokemon. So you have Dunsparce. Mantine and Pancham all could be shiny for Team 1. Mantine, a real good water electric type. And Dunsparce, it has a feature evolution. The Dunsparce. And I mean, it's a pretty nice Pokemon, nice and tanky. And Pancham, I think it's just, I mean, it's cool to have a nice rare, a bit of a rare thing. I mean, it's, if you, uh, Still looking for the shiny, maybe, maybe this is your time. Team 2, you have Chespin and Skoruppi and Galena Weezing. Galena Weezing is a pretty nice fairy type, although not very meta. It has its uses, especially in Fantasy Cup. Drapion is a pretty, pretty good, pretty decent Pokemon. Not, not used much in the competitive scene, but it's, it charges up to moves very fast. And is a nice counter to fairy types, which is handy when you have Chespin, which is a, a nice and strong grass type. Although you do want Frenzy Plant, which there's going to be, well, if you are trying to build a chestnut, then you do need an Elite Charge Gem, which you get from day one research. I probably recommend other grass types you may want to put Frenzy Plant on. Especially Venusaur, I think Venusaur is better currently, but it's up to you. Now, Team Three, you got Venusaur, uh, Igly Buff, Jiggly Puff, and Ink, and then either Ishi or EC or West Sea Shellos. And I mean, there's better, there is better um, water water ground types like. Quagsire, Swampert, and Riscash, but Gastron, not too shabby. And then, I mean, in KI, I don't think is uh, very good. It has its uses, but really tough. A very annoying fairy type to deal with. 
real real nice and meta real nice and meta but you're going to have some avatar items so global distribution via stream code for the white top and in-person exclusive via scavenger hunt in Honolulu for the blue frustratingly enough that that's annoying and we are going to be getting some I guess being announced some of the changes on the live stream some move updates maybe we're going to get some big big shift in the, the meta some move buffs Pokemon nurse maybe and I mean people will definitely be talking about all that stuff when it's found out because I mean it's definitely definitely it's time for a change in the meta but also I mean they, they're only going to do so much and they didn't want to do too much at the start of the season especially when Worlds was so close so exciting we'll see what happens and we're going to have the event going on the Worlds event with all these lovely Pokemon, Mankey, Mankey, Lucky Tongue, Meryl, Paldean, Whoopa, Swablu, Tala, Burb, Firebird, Fletchling, Carbink, Grubbin, Marini, and it's going to be all very meta Pokemon. I guess honestly, uh, Marini may be the least, but they're all very strong Pokemon. And you're going to be able to get the special moves for Lickitung, your special move for Mianfu, then Cragsire, Altaria, Charger Bug, Talonflame. Very crucial moves. They definitely are very helpful and make them at their be their highest level. And Annihilate, I mean is the best counter user, it's just insane. You can see lots of videos just how good it is. Like the tongue, long time standing amazing Pokemon. Azumarill, really nice tanky bunny. Paldane, uh, Cloud's Eye. It could be better. Unfortunately, when they did release it, they people uh, found out how broken it was and then they changed the moveset before they released it to make it easier, well, weaker. And then I'll try it. Uh, Altari is one of the best dragons in Great League. And you definitely want Moonblast. Doesn't gleam. It doesn't have a chance for attack drop. You got Talonflame. A, a bit of a tricky Pokemon to use. It's not. I mean, if you have shields with it at the end game and you have cleared out the counters to it, then you are cooking most things. Carbink. Really nice because it is a rare, rare thing to get. The XL is what you do need a lot. It's like a fairy type Bastiodon. Really annoying Pokemon to deal with. There are thankfully a lot of Mud Boys, Krag's Eyes, Swamp Pits. Even Gastron can handle it nicely. Abyss Cash. Charge Bug, real nice. Toxapex, real annoying Pokemon for fairies to deal with. And just very tanky. Even if you have super effective attacks. Still not the still not uh, something you take down instantly and scrolly, just terrifying steel wood. Now five dollar USD ticket, so you get a couple encounters for some nice Pokemon. Now if they had uh, lower IV minimum than research, that would be really nice, especially if you I mean extra better chance of being able to get a more ideal IV1 without having to trade. Although if you don't get ideal, it's 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 better to trade for a better chance at ideal with getting that lower attack. Although it does give a lower minimum for HP defense, but definitely probably gonna want to trade it. Now you also get Vigoroth, a Zumo, a premium battle pass and twenty five thousand Stardust, which I mean that's a good chunk, but it's expensive to add second moves to tons of Pokemon, especially if you're trying to build a nice roster of like 10 Pokemon to choose from from this event. Definitely can add up. Very excited to hunt for Shiny Manfu, although it's only research along with 
and raids along with uh, Pikachu. But the best time for doing battles. So during this event, you're going to have 20 sets per day. You're going to have four time starters, Fear Woods, which is a phenomenal. And you're going to be able to find a lower middle of IVs of Pokemon in Go Battle League. So, as opposed to the minimum of 10 10 10 in each set, you can get lower, which is going to be very helpful. And of course, at the end, when there's a winner of the World Championships, this is going to be a crowning event. Current Pokemon Go champion, it's Jackson. He's doing amazing on YouTube and. I mean, he, I feel there's a pretty pretty good chance he could get real far. I mean, he is a world champion, amazing player, so just understands the game beautifully and executes phenomenally. But defending the title, that's going to be difficult. He didn't make it to the uh, finals before winning his title, so maybe, maybe he's just going to be too good on the wall, but who knows? Exciting. You got some exciting Shadow Pokemon that are real nice. Shadow Magnezone. The damage is insane. Hopefully I can get a good one. It is possible to find it from God Battles, which is really nice. Shadow Dragonair and Dragonite both real nice. I think Great League you just want Dragonair over Dragonite, but Dragonair has its uses. Shadow Krogzai just amazing. Unfortunately, not in Rockets, Shadow, uh, Gligar. You're going to see a lot in this uh, World World Championships. Shadow, Shadow Sableye. You honestly could go Shadow or Purified. Return is very handy for this Ghost type. Shadow Curlia, I'd just... Uh, if you get a good one for a Shadow Glade, that can be very nice. Although, Shadow Guard are not very useful. I mean, it's if you want, it has its targets you can acquire. And Shadow Outfit, you do probably want to purify, get as well, you want the best IVs you can get. Because it's gonna be, I mean, even at 51, it's gonna be kind of way old, under 1500 CP. So, have fun with your event. Hopefully, you get the shinies you want. Hopefully you have some success in Go Battle League if you choose to play it. If you don't, I don't blame you. The game is not in the perfect state. Not, I mean, it's, it's been in a declining state for a while. And especially if you're on Android, I think more problems over there than iOS. But I've definitely had some problems with connection. But let's see. Let's see who is going to become the world champion of Pokemon Go. Have fun with the event. Good luck on your shinies and thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more Pokemon Go videos and, uh, and Daily Go Valley videos. Probably going to have a nice increase of GBL videos. Maybe a couple longer ones. Maybe an hour long special if I find a team that I am absolutely cooking everything. But stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and goodbye.